Wait, I feel like there was actually a rose on one of these upper things, or something like that. Yeah? No! No! No, that was like... One of my few thoughts, I'm like, maybe I'll get a rose and then I'll take it outside and like dip it in the ocean and it'll be like, blessed. Or something. You know, if I could get any kind of normal rose, I would have like an idea at least of what I was supposed to do. But, apparently that's not a thing. Dang it. Never mind. Oh, this little thing? It looks like a seed. Can we plant this out here somewhere? Can we plant this seed out here somewhere? Maybe... Oh! 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 Bloody heck! Yes! Yes! Got it. Okay, that didn't take... That took like five minutes. That's... Not even, not even quite five minutes. Good. Good. So now actually, yeah, if you look at this, I have everything I need. So, draw a pentagram with the ashes inside the black and white square. Put a lighted black candle on every point of the pentagram. Fill a cauldron with water and put the other elements in it. Boil, pour over the person you want to bewitch and repeat these words while you walk around the pentagram. I assume that I don't have to memorize those words. I better not because that would be ridiculous. Let's go back inside and talk to the girls saying that we're ready. We have all the ingredients. I think Fran was just talking about not having memorized the words in order to buy time. I think we're good to start. We're waiting for you, Fran. Oh, I thought that I was done. Can I sweep up over here? It looks kind of messy. I mean, all right, where, when do you wanna, how do you wanna start? And you wanna start this up? Mm, oh, maybe I should actually use with the fire. Wait, 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 where am I supposed to boil this then? Because it's, uh... I have to boil the water, don't I? Or now do I start mixing stuff? Water should be boiling for this to work. Yeah, that's what I thought. Do you not want me to boil it there? Is there a better place for me to boil stuff? You know, than the open fire? I'll check. I feel like there's not, but I mean, maybe you want it here. I don't know. Oh, I forgot to turn on the fire. Okay, matches. Okay. Matches. There we go, fire. Okay, we got that. Done. Okay. So now... Okay, so blood from me. Um, the rose, salt and pepper, hair. Alright, so, not combined. There's blood. Hair. Salt and pepper. And then the rose. Okay, and there's black and white squares and stuff. What exactly was it though? Draw a pentagram with the ashes inside the black and white square. Alright. Pentagram. The ashes. Look at me, hard at work. Okay, so now the candles. Done. Let's read this again real quick. Uh, put a lighted black candle on every point. Oh, right. So maybe I should probably light those. Uh, then I assume... Was that good? Was that a good sound? I should show the girls that the potion is ready. Okay. I just have to check real quick. Uh, fill the cauldron with water and put the other elements in it. Boil, pour over the person you want to bewitch. And repeat these words. Okay. While I walk around. So I gotta show it to them. And then I gotta go back to the pentagram. It will be good, I think. Hey, what's up? Everything is ready. Let's go to the kitchen. Good, let's go. <laughs> Hopefully this is gonna work out great. Cause I wanna save Mr. Midnight and get out of here. All right, please sit down and close your eyes, ladies. All right. And pour it. Does it burn at all? And now I'll say the words. Bonte ir ekran, o ir begma, o ibure, nami bure, ir bonte ir ekran. 
Begma, half memon demag of mea. Ibre egitos irname bomeg. Ibrem isne. Wait a second, that is not the right spell. You tricked us! Uh oh. I'm glad you only realized that at the very end. Yay, Satan! All right, we got the key. What have I done? Oh my goodness, this is not right. No, that's great. You did a good thing, right? I'm not sure what to do with this. What do you mean? Pick up the key. Okay, the key. Now I can free my dear kitty. I'm nervous. I can't clean that up? All right. I'll just leave then. Actually, let's check on Toad. All right, dude, I did it. Did you find a solution already? What do you mean? I did! I did it! You're free to go, Mr. Toad! You don't have to be stuck here anymore! He can swim away! Let's go save Mr. Midnight! And I'm gonna check on the babies, too, because, you know, I'm curious now. I don't like that I have to open that again. Right. Babies! Hmm. Oh, a sleepy doll. Would you please sing for me? Ah, uh, you don't want to? Huh. Well, that's okay. I can sing for myself grown woman 10 years old I'll do what I want all right a golden key I wonder if this will open the cage I assume so what is it Fran open the cage I can't the key doesn't fit did you see another keyhole somewhere yeah in the mirror yes I saw one I'll see if it fits there I'll be waiting hurry up okay yeah. okay good nothing here to kill me Did it. The key was for this keyhole, and what's that? A puzzle? I'm great at puzzles. Oh, shoot. What do I do? What? Like, I don't, I don't get what that's about, though. Okay, wait. Sorry. What are, are you saying? A mechanical thing. It rotates. It may be some sort of engine. I have to open this thing, but how? I don't know. Oh, I guess... I have to get all the gears together, kind of thing? I'm not great with these. Um, but I'll try, you know. Try my darndest. Okay. Is it like, do I have to get specific sizes? Like, do I need this big one all the way down there? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe you know, but I don't. No, see that one? Why isn't it working? Ah. Uh. I told you I'm not great at these. I know people are rolling their eyes at me right now, but I don't see what I'm supposed to be doing just yet. So, yeah, that's all I got. I don't know what I'm supposed to do just yet. Like, I have gears together, but they're not seeming to do anything. And I don't know if I need specific gears or if they're only going to start moving, like, once I have them all, or... I don't know. I don't know. So for now, I think we'll skip ahead again because I'm just gonna keep. I'm just gonna be trying these, and I'm gonna have to move a lot of freaking tiles, and it's gonna take a long time, I'm sure. So I won't make you guys watch that tedious bit. Okay, I just got. I just got one gear to spin, actually. Oh, hey, gears are actually spinning. That's good. Okay. So now I just need to get both of these down. Yes! 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 Less so. Less so with the screaming. But that actually... Okay. I actually only took like a minute after I, I, I said to skip ahead. So that's good for me, you know. It's great for me. I'm usually bad at those things. But as soon as one started spinning... 
Then it all worked. It all came together. Sister promise. We, Clara and Mia Buhalmet, promise to revenge the unfair destiny Edward huh, decided for us. With blood and tears, we promise that we will kill him and bring our bodies back. We won't stand this any longer. Even though we are sisters, we hate each other, and we will always hate each other. Nothing will ever change that, but now, with our bodies attached to each other, we can't complete our task. The strongest will live forever, and the weakest will die. Mother must die. Mother must die. Ew, maybe that mommy wasn't a good mommy at all. My mommy was very good. She hugged me many times. Hey, Duotine, my pills are called Duotine too. Hmm, but they got the yellow ones. I wonder what's the difference. To add a doll, it must be a really old doll. It's also quite dirty. I guess it's because they played a lot with it. My toys are also a bit dirty. I miss playing with my dollhouse. Oh, the sisters have a huge scar in the middle. That's scary. Maybe they were two different persons after all. Bed and floor looks so familiar. Pink rosette, pretty hair decoration. Let me see this. Who's Edward? Eh, these girls are very strange. I wonder why they hated each other so much. I don't know. Anyway, we got our key. And... Guess we're good to go, right? Okay. Just looking around the room. I don't see anything else I need to do. I guess I'll go off and get Mr. Midnight, because this should be it. Alright, key. I think this is the key. <gasps> yes! It worked, my dear kitty. It worked. Come out. Let me hug you. <gasps> anything gonna ruin this moment? No? Oh, Mr. Midnight! Oh, Mr. Midnight! Oh, and I'm so happy. Oh, this feels so good. I'm free, Fran, my good friend. Time to go home. You're free, my dear. Now it's time to go home. Yes, let's go. Okay. Let's go, Mr. That's not what I meant. We need to get home, Kitty. I hope the way back home isn't far away. I hope so, too, Fran. We could do this together. I can help you. Let's go, then. Yeah, he's just chilling with me. That's cool. Maybe now we could finally use this stairwell. The stairs end up in a wall. Oh. Uh, maybe not then. Maybe not that way. I wonder if he'd still be with me if I took the pills, you know? Hmm. Let's, uh, let's try that. Huh. Strangely enough, he's not when I'm in what seems more like reality, but then again, even though I'm calling that reality, there is a giant frog. It still seems more realistic than this. Though that's realistic for a cat. Alright, let's go out here. Sup, Toad? I did it, Sir Toad! The girls are gone! That is perfect! Now I can leave this place and go to my family. Yes. I want to do that too, sir. I finally found my kitty. I just want to go home now and be with Aunt Grace. But how will you get out of here? There's no boat! Um, I thought you could help us get out of here. I'd love to help you, but I'm too tiny. Even though my body is quite moldable, it would be impossible to carry you both to the other side. Let me think about it. Don't leave us yet, please. Do you want a broom? Nope. Do you want baking soda? Take this, Toad. It may help. I'm not a bakery bun, but you are all slimy and soft like dough. You're right, it may work. Here it goes. It worked, it really did. I'm so big and I feel gorgeous. Great, let's go. Come, Mr. Midnight. How on earth? Sure, Fran, I only have one complaint. That giant toad is staring at me. He wants to help. What are you talking about? He wants to help us, that's all. All right, if he tries anything, I will scratch him. That's okay, but try not to hurt him so much while we're sitting on him. The water is deep, and we don't know what kind of creatures are in there. If we fall in the water, we could die, kitty. Oh, I promise I won't scratch the toad. Let's go. Hey, girl, before we go, I forgot to give you something. I saw you in this picture, so I thought it was yours. Yeah, you found the picture when it washed out the sewer or whatever, and this book was with it, too. Oh, that's not ours. Oh, toad, you found my family photo. Thank you very much. I thought I'd lost it forever, but the book is not mine. Oh, well, take the book as a gift. It's always healthy to read. It has many pictures. Wow, thank you. I like pictures. Well, let's go now. Why the caps? Yes, here we go. Hold on tight. He's, just, he's having a great time, you know? That's what it looks like there. Anyway. We did it! 
Is that is? Am I actually playing Frogger here? Is that what I'm doing? Do you want me to? Do you want me to jump across? All right. I mean, I will. If that's what you want. What you want to do, I'll do it. In time, I'll do it. I'll do it in time. Done. So it's not Frogger. I need something. I need, okay, thank you. <laughs> we just have to jump from thing to thing in order to get across. Okay. All right. No way, go the other way, go the other way. This is weird though, the whole sudden claymation kind of thing. Like, yeah, not what I would expect. Yeah. Okay, also, could I really just skip this whole thing? It looked like that was skippable, yeah. That's weird. We did it though, we didn't need to skip it, we're awesome. Here we are, jump off me now. Let's go, kitty. Okay. This game is so bizarre. Well, now it's time to go home. I hope you find your family soon, Sir Toad. Thank you, you too, farewell. Goodbye, sir, and thank you for the ride. Fran, what should we do now? Find the way back home, kitty. Do you see the sky? It's dawn and it, it is it dawn? Don't look like dawn to me. And really soon all the scary things will disappear. Oh, I'm so hungry and sleepy. I want to go home now. Yep. Me too, kitty. We'll find the way. I'll do my best to help you, my dear. Let's go. Alright. So I guess I'll check this now. I found myself hunting the truth, but finding the unexpected. I found what my senses couldn't show me. I found the truth that relays silently in the unknown. Hmm. Leon Castillo, one of the thousand. I assume. I can turn the page again. How many times could I... I don't know if I want to read this whole thing. July 11, 1908. My name is Leon. Leon? I don't know. I'm currently 92 years old. Oh, dang. Living alone in a little house far away from the city. I have to admit, I never was fond of jewelry, houses, or clothing. Since childhood, I always talked to animals, plants, and insects. And even though I never got a response, I never quit. If you are reading this, maybe it's because you were looking for answers. Maybe you can see things that others can't. Or you can feel what others avoid. You can listen to the silence and become one with everything. December 17th, 1875. Okay, so this is, an, this is an old journal. I can't stop it. I can't control it. I see the black shadows everywhere. The blood, the messages, the screaming, all the pain. I can't figure out why this is happening to me. The black shadows. I can see them too. They are everywhere. Yeah. Uh, page. Cry because it hurts. Okay. Yep. Hmm, creepy. Ah, the monster is making other people sick too. Inside my head, the stone of wisdom. Oh, I should probably... Oh, it's right there. December 19th, 1875. I had a vision. I'm still breathing fear. I feel at war with my own mind. One of the shadows came down from the sky. I thought it was an angel. Its name is Raymor? Prince of Darkness from the Fifth Reality. It talked to me, played with me, and showed me all the terrors. It told me that I was the key to its existence. That's great. Poor Mr. Leon. I like the drawings, though. Ah, oh, that's nice. It must be the love to live. January 13th, 1876. I can see myself around. The other me, tell me lies, talks about all the pain and suffering in my life. The other me wants me to commit suicide. He smiles while pronouncing the words, kill yourself. And I have tried, hypnotized by his words, but there is always something saving me at the end. It must be the love to live. I meet a shadow. For the first time, it talked to me. Oh, come on, this Okay. Ah, this creature's... This creature's... Okay. I wonder why people can't see them. They exist to make people sick. Maybe that's the point, to realize they exist and get rid of them. Their race is called the Kamalas. They hunt weakness and pain. I asked it about the possession of human bodies, and it said, We are born and feed from fear and the uncontrolled illness of human mind. We are invisible to them, but our existence grabs every single living cell of the body until the end. After that, it started raining and it walked away from me, leaving a black oily path after it. I believe water may purify them. January 16th, 1876. After seeing the Kamalas reacting to water, I thought of trying a little experiment. Last night I encountered something amazing. The Kamalas transform into a new kind of creature when exposed to water. 
the metamorphosis oh i think i've seen the glowy people before like when i was with antonio kind of thing or near his house the metamorphosis was painful to watch after the terrible screaming the kamalas calmed down and started to cry on the ground it felt like the pain was disappearing after a few minutes a bright and peaceful being was rising in front of me <laughs> they melt like wicked witches and fairy tales Aw, peaceful creatures if i looked like them i would go around scaring bad people Okay. It felt like the bright creature could read my thoughts. I thank you for waking me up. I was suffering. I must go where I belong. Ethersta awaits. All the lockers must go there after waking up. I have no idea. If you wish to come, or if you wish to see the light, come with me. You have the key, it said. I didn't answer. After a while, it faded away. Key. Read thoughts? I think that's a bit scary. I guess we're always afraid of things we can't understand, especially if they seem nice. Maybe. January or February 2nd, 1876. I was reading my writings to see if I'm missing something. I recall Remor, or Remor, I don't know, from the fifth reality. If there is a fifth reality, there must be at least four more. I was thinking that Ethersta may not be a city in this world, but a reality by itself. I wish all answers came to me. I deeply regret the fact that I didn't accept the Velaka's invitation. Since I saw the Velaka's, I keep seeing this diagram spinning in my head and a single sentence. Time is the rhythm of your perception. I don't understand the drawing. It looks interesting, though. Maybe it's to show how time looks like. Time is the rhythm of your reception or perception. How many more pages? Oh, no. March 13th, 1876. I got a visit from my son, Brian. I told him about the things that I've seen, but he didn't want it to hear and left. I don't blame him. I understand that the reality presented before my eyes is invisible to most of people. Most of people... Uh, I wish I could find a friend just like me, because my son, he thinks I'm insane. Lonely with no family, huh? You should get a cat, Mr. Leon. My son thinks I'm insane. Bah, you're not, I can tell. July 25th, 1876. My body and mind are beginning to understand the pattern. Life becomes quite easy to control when you cut all social laws and only apply our reality laws, because they are not only laws, but also behaviors chemical behaviors, natural laws. Without those behaviors, without those laws, we wouldn't exist. Sometimes I wish to be a leaf on the ground, calm while dying. I think I have to study some chemistry to understand what he means. It can be fun to understand how we are builded and such. Ow, he seems sad. That's sad. Sometimes it seems like there are mistakes because she's a 10-year-old girl. Sometimes it seems like there are mistakes because the people who made this aren't, like, native English speakers. Sometimes I think there are mistakes just because... Everyone makes mistakes, but yeah. You're kidding me. How how much reading is there? Okay, it seems like we're going to have an episode dedicated to reading. All right. November 11th, 1876. Last night, after the storm, a huge creature visited my garden for a few seconds and then disappeared. I found a strange bottle with a pink liquid inside in the same spot the creature landed. I can't fully understand the contents of the bottle. I have found red blood cells in it and bacteria not yet recognized. The bacteria seems to get rid of unusual behaviors in any kind of living creature. I poured some of the pink liquid on a few dying plant, on a dying plant, and it bloomed after a few minutes. I cut my finger to test the liquid with human tissue, and it cured after a few seconds. This bacteria may work as platelets and white blood cells, but at a very high speed. Interesting. Ah, oh, what creature can that be? Oh, mysterious pink water. Hehe, <laughs> good for the plant that got better and blommed, blommed. Blommed. What was I saying? All right, twenty November twenty second. I dream of thousands of black cats surrounding my house, big yellow eyes staring at my sleep. Beings in Ethersta are varied, from roots to giant insects. Roots are the first in this reality. Insects came later. I learned their language and numerology. All right. Wow, I love the pictures. Many kittens in many colors. Oh, Ethersta, it feels like fresh air is coming from the book. It looks like somebody ripped off some pages here. Oh, I didn't even notice that. That's true. What? I'm not going to remember this stuff. Alphabet, though. That's the alphabet, I guess. We got A, H, F, I, C, E, E, S, E. The Great Velakas is the beginning of the first reality. Primeve light. Mm, shield, okay. The Velaka's body structure is quite different from ours. They are made out of photons and sound waves. They're also both male and female. When the youngster reach age, oh geez, 299,792,459, they are crowned with the shield. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, Zyar, creation of the giant Valakas, king of Ithersta, second reality, life. February 13th, 1877. Being in Ithersta feels like becoming what you can't understand on Earth. It's where leaves sing while falling off the tree, and the water whispers its wisdom while you drink it. And look, it's. That's the proper way to do that. They keep going like with the other one before, but they actually did it right there. Pandora, creation of the five realms of essential existence, free, uh, resides in the human world, third reality. Okay, so the human world, and this is the third reality. I see. With life being the second? I don't know, whatever. Consciousness, spelled wrong. Practice of will. Uh, synercity. Synercity, uh, the end of vibration, when both ends of opposites are the same degree, resides in third and fourth reality. Death. Oh, I should actually probably click on the pictures and stuff. Earth, that's my planet. Sinus, Sinersity. Sinersity, yeah. Hmm, death. Yep. Mabuka is the end of light. Wow, many heads. That creature must spend a lot, a lot time thinking. Blood everywhere. The end of light? If dark things from the dark are so dark, how do they find each other? Maybe they like it dark because they are so ugly. And they are so ugly that they prefer not to see each other. So March 29th, 1877. Mother Mabuka, or Mabuka, is letting me go. I've spent 15 days here in Mabuka's den, and I'm tired. I don't need to hide from pain anymore because it's part of me. It feels like love is everywhere and in everything. I enjoy crying. I enjoy laughing. I enjoy being alive. No date recorded. Did you actually write no date recorded, sir? I'm getting ready for the journey back home. Mabuka sent me to the endless limits of Mabuka's den, and I'm waiting for the Luciferns. I had to become friends with them, or to be more precise, become one of them. Luciferns gather in filaments. That's why they look like they're growing hair, and the big faces mostly for communication purposes and to scare their predators. I hope my body can survive the journey. So this is exactly something, you know, the, what we encountered when we had to get the key, and we had to get the comb, and we brushed them. That's what they were. They weren't dragonflies, they were luciferns. Oh, let's go back to the picture, actually. Hold on. That must be Mr. Leon sitting there. Are those the shiny insects? Where's the hair comb? Exactly, right? So that's the time thing, rhythm of our perception. So October 2nd, 1878, gravity collects particles to create new ones. It's a creative force, and with creativity, evolution is inevitable. What is this? The drawing to the left looks like an antenna. Oh no, somebody ripped off the rest of the book. I'll never know what happened to Mr. Leon. Nope. Well, that took a while. Oh, dear mother and father, sometimes I'm very afraid of my thoughts. Sometimes it feels like things are not real become real. Or things that are not real become real, and sometimes the darkness takes me away. Oh, Kitty, what will be the first thing you do when we get home? Eat, of course. Eat until I fall asleep, and you? I think I would like the same. So am I still in Chapter 2? I must still be in Chapter 2, because nothing updated. Wow, what a tr- Okay, we'll go a little bit farther, then. Or further. Oh, dear, this bridge looks pretty scary. Oh, friend, come on, we have to go home. This is no- or there's no time to be afraid now. Yes, but I'm a bit afraid of heights. Um, I can go first, alright? Then you follow me. Alright, kitty. You're so sweet. I'll be right behind you. Mr. Kitty, don't get lost, okay? Or taken or anything. Please don't do any of that. Oh, I don't like that sound. What's up, Mr. Kitty? Mr. Midnight? Come on, friend. Let's go. I'm waiting for you. Oh, alright. Friend, wait. What? Oh, it's a demon thing. That's not good. It was a bad timing all around. We were almost all the way across, too. Why'd you tell me to wait, Mr. Midnight? Oh, my dear, I can't hold it anymore. I don't want to die. You won't die, my friend. Come on, you can do it. Jump. All right, here I go. No oh, good. I got you. <laughs> Thank you, Miss. Oh, Mr. Midnight. Friend, no. You better come after me. Yeah, thank you. I thought he'd like jump down the branches, but you know, just belly flopping's cool too. Don't be afraid, Fran. We always fall. And after the pain, we will always rise. Is Aunt Grace talking here? Um, I don't even know. Oh dear Aunt Grace, don't ever leave me. Don't cry, my little girl. 
Your heart is pure, but your mind is tormented. Yeah, with all the blood and all that. You have to stay and walk your own path. Please, Aunt Grace, why won't you just take me out of here, please? You'll just leave me all alone like my mother and father did. Well, they were murdered. Little different, little unfair. I'm sorry, my dear Fran. You will soon understand. Aunt Grace, no, don't go, please, please. Oh, a lot of crying. A lot of crying blood. Oh, no. Fran, it's time for your new medicine. I was like, is she refusing or reaching out to take it? Man, he don't even care. He doesn't even care. He just he just saw that happen and just like, huh, well I have this pill. Q outro, go!